Hello everyone. What is going on? Today is an exciting day because we are about to start a whole new series on YouTube. It's gonna be called Vlad's Vlogs. And I am Vlad for everyone that does not know out there. It's basically going to be a series of me just talking about random stuff that I'm been interested in and I'm going to try or want to try. Just kind of a vlogging series, you know? This is going to be episode one and we are going to be talking about learning Mandarin without using any free time. That's what this video is about. Stay tuned to find out how we're doing that. So, I went to China a few weeks ago and I have been interested in learning Mandarin now. I am just amazed at the size of the city and the growth in that city. So now I just want to learn the language. So I was like, well, I don't really got much free time to learn, but I really want to. And so I, I tried to think about how is it possible to learn without using any of my free time? I tried to think about all the moments that I have available in my day that is not really free time. So let's let's cover those. The main one is just commutes. And commutes like this, my drive to work, my walk to lunch, to dinner and stuff. I can always be listening. So that's one piece of free time right there. Another piece of free time is sitting on the toilet. You know, you're always on your phone, probably doing something inefficient. I know I am, so I could be learning Mandarin then. Another piece of somewhat free time is while you're working, actually. I currently listen to music while I'm working, but I thought, why, why not possibly use that to just also learn? So we got three periods of free time here. Commutes to and from work and between work activities or just life activities, sitting on the toilet, and working while I'm listening to music. And I got just the right three things to fill these spots. So, first of all, during work, instead of listening to English music, I can be listening to Mandarin music. Constantly being exposed to Mandarin is definitely not gonna hurt. And I heard listening to music is just a great way to get into the language. So I'm gonna try that out. The next one is I just had pretty great success using Duolingo in general to learn Spanish. So I'm gonna give it a shot for Mandarin. I mean, it's a really good app. I've been very happy with it so far for, for Spanish. So I'm gonna try with Mandarin. And then lastly, I've I've used Coursera for learning machine learning and programming related things. So, I mean, it's got a course on Mandarin and I think it's probably a good idea to do a full-fledged course. So, I'm going to I'm going to be doing that basically on during all my commutes because I can just listen to the course and there is also exercises like tests. I'm not sure if I'm going to be doing that. And then lastly to top this all off, I thought I should probably try to communicate with others and I have a few friends that actually speak Mandarin so I talked to them and they were actually they said they'd be free once or twice a week to just do a Skype call and just maybe talk about our days in Mandarin so maybe a couple months in once I know a few a few words once I can speak a couple sentences I'll actually start speaking with them maybe during my walks between places and stuff I can just give them a little call have a little 10 minute conversation with them about something in Mandarin and then get right back to what I was doing. That is the plan. And hopefully, I don't know, maybe half a year from now, half a year from now, I'll make another vlog being like, we did it. I don't know if half a year is exactly gonna be that point, but I don't know, we'll see. We'll see where I'm at in half a year. That'll be a cool, mo cool moment to see. Maybe I'll make a video of me uh, Speaking Mandarin then. Right now I know very simple words. I know say ni hao, which is hello, which actually means you good, but 
apparently it means hello as well. But that is all. The end of Vlad's vlogs number one.